In this chapter, we're going to talk about Hibernate's cache mechanism. Hibernate's cache mechanism will help improve the overall performance of the application. We'll see why in this chapter. So let's think about a very simple scenario where you just simply want to save the employee object into the database. So you would open a session, you create an instance of employee, and then you just simply try to save that object into the database. And in the end, you'll also close the session. So what's actually going to happen behind the scenes is, whenever you open a session or create a session, Hibernate will also create so-called a first level cache memory. And then whenever you're trying to save the employee object, before saving that object into the database, Hibernate will make a copy of it in the first level cache. Well, Hibernate will not actually make a copy of the object itself, but rather the data of the object in the form of key value pair. So the key is going to be the identifier of that object and the value is just simply list of values that object holds. Now what is the benefit of this mechanism? It's pretty simple. If you go back, let's say that you're trying to do something with that object. Maybe you're just trying to retrieve that object from the database. Now this instruction in here, since it falls under the same session, Hibernate will not actually retrieve the object from the database, but instead it will retrieve the data of that object from the cache memory. Now this is a lot faster and inexpensive because in order to extract the data from the database, Hibernate have to fire a SQL query and then the database query engine have to process that query, retrieve that data or the object and then send it back to the application. That's very expensive. Instead, when you have that ready data in place inside the first level cache, it would be a lot easier and a lot faster to retrieve the data from the cache. Now imagine that you have a very high-end application and you have lots of sessions that go simultaneously, then obviously this is going to be a great value add. This will improve the performance significantly. Now let's assume that you have another session which is also trying to do pretty much the same, except it's just trying to retrieve the employee but not trying to save. In this case, Hibernate will not fetch that particular object details from another session's first level cache. Because as I've already mentioned, each first level cache is associated with only one single session. And once the session is closed, the cache and its objects are no more. So even though you're trying to access the same object from another session, Hibernate will check to see if that object is present in its corresponding cache memory. If it is not, then it is going to go to the database to fetch the same. And while it is fetching back to the application, Hibernate will also store that object in its corresponding first level cache so that on the subsequent instructions, if you're trying to do something with that object, then Hibernate don't have to go all the way to the database, but instead it would just simply retrieve that object data from the session's cache. It's as simple as that. In our next video, we're going to take a look at some of the examples of the same. So, see you soon.